Hello, hello, and welcome back to Astral Mushroom. In today's video, uh, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Well, I say that. We're still going to be designing things for the comic. But uh, with the power of editing, which I'm going to have to try wrapping my head around, I'm going to show you first the main characters of our comic. So uh, first off, here's a sneak peek at the cover, the French cover, redone. Actually, show, I'm going to show you first the old cover. So. You can look at the old cover, okay? And now, here's the new one. Yeah, I, I think there's a whole lot of a difference going on, but I don't know about, I don't know if anyone else is going to agree with me. I might need to do a bit more tweaking, at least on the main character. Everyone else looks perfectly fine. So let me just walk you through this a little bit. Front and center, we have Aldo. Aldo, our main character. To the left, we have Amber. To the right, bottom, we have Camille, up, Rose, to the left of that, Amanity, the walking mushroom, and to the left most, if I get my directions right, uh, we have Perianid, Perianid, I'm sorry, I don't actually know how to say her name, even, I've never actually said it out loud before. So these are the six main characters so far, you know, plus Fafels will be there. We designed them last time. I'll have to go ahead and actually, you know, finalize the design once I hear back from the author. It hasn't happened yet, because I'm recording this episode pretty much just like the next day or so. Here, I'm going to show you this. Uh, this is Krita. It's a different program. Last time I was using uh, Clip Studio Paint. So, you see, here are all the characters lined up. Uh, you might be noticing there's an extra character over here. I, I, I silhouetted these people last time, but there's honestly no need since they're all on the front cover, except, you know, her, the main character's mom. Uh, she is going to be in the first chapter, so, so there's no need to worry. It's not really much of a spoiler. So I've got here, like the whole height sheet, which I showed you before. Yeah, we're not doing, we're not silhouetting everyone. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is a little bit different from last time because last time we were uh, designing a character uh, all the characters are actually designed other than that one what instead we're going to do is uh, animate the characters we're going to try just making a walk cycle animation uh, honestly this is mostly for me just trying to learn animation uh, I, I already know it but it's been a while so i need to get back into the refresher of it so, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, but I can show you something pretty cool right now. Just look at that. So, one character already, I've got a basic walk going on. He's got his own style, you know, pizzazz. This is just the rough, the bare roughs. But that's about as far as I can do right now. I gotta, I want to do the roughs first and then, you know, add in more and more detail, you know, flesh it out. But first off, I actually do want to make the roughs done. Okay, right, so, one character is done. The second character, I do have a walk going on. It's nowhere near as polished. In fact, you can see there's a lot of problems. Uh, the legs more or less kind of work, but it's very, very choppy, as you can see, because I've only just start. I only got a bit of progress done on it before... Uh, things happen. Things happen to IRL, as they always do. God bless it. But anyway, what I'm planning on doing in today's video, it depends on how interesting I can make it, is basically try to animate all of these characters, or at least, uh, at least some of them, at least one of them. I'd settle for if I can at least get one character animated. I'd be happy, you know? So anyway, here's basically what I'm going to be doing. Uh -huh. da -da -da. Uh, first, switch to the layer of this character. Now, as you can see, going into it, the first character, I, I'd call it good enough for right now. You know, it's more or less done. By the way, this this right here, there's a reference to someone else. Uh, never, remember, just, you can always use references. Don't ever just not, don't ever st not use the reference because you're embarrassed or something like that. Oh, it shows that I don't know how to draw. But that, come on, I mean, bleep that out, bleep that out, bleep that out. I mean, listen, references are very important, okay? 
some people might say that oh if you use references you're not a real artist you've got to be able to draw everything without any references but no references are very important because you want to maintain you want to maintain accuracy to it at least to the extent right the details always have to match up so you got to be careful about this stuff very important to have references of some kind of the other like say for example even though i designed all these characters i'm going to be making them i have i still have them up here you know i have all the characters up here because i don't want to screw up so i've got the characters i've got the walk cycle so i can remember what it looks like and then from that obviously i'm not going to be copying this walk cycle 100 percent there's going to be some differences per character just because of how they work you know how individualistically individually yes they're they're individualistic traits so this is very important stuff so what i'm going to be doing right now is first step uh krita there are many there are many uh setups configurations workspaces you might say and uh right now i'm in just my own drawing work stage this this is just what i use like a lot of empty space so i just so i could draw stuff very nicely very nicely uh, i'm going to switch to animation now here uh you've got the timeline going on um, this is not an animation tutorial by the way i i am i don't think i'm qualified to give an animation tutorial but I could try to make one as simple as possible because I am an idiot. So, hey, if anyone's interested, I might be able to explain it in a way even an idiot would be able to understand just because of what I am. Here are the time, here's the timeline and these, uh, I'm going to try zooming in with editing. But you might be, you might be noticing, noticing that some of these are filled in and some of these are not. Well, the ones which are solid blue, those are keyframes. Uh, like just every single one of those, that's a frame. Okay. There's usually about like 24 frames in a second, depending on what speed you're going at. Like I, like for a lot of animation stuff, you you sometimes you want to go with 12 FPS or something, you know, 12 frames a second. Uh, I'm just going with 24 frames per second because that's like the norm. 24 frames per second is the norm for pretty much most. It's the industry standard, okay? Unless you're talking about like 3D animations or something like that. Like, oh, if you're making a game, games are like 30 FPS or 60 FPS. But most animations are 24 fps you know frames per second i'm going to use the onion the onion skins so onion skin how this usually how this works is it's a very simple uh, you see the red over here that is the previous frame the green that is the next frame so amber i've only got like one two three four frames so far and aldo has a uh, all of these that's like a lot but that's kind of because i separated out his ears his hair and his tail individually so his base alone now that's what we're going with for the amber who is this character the set the the girl in red her base doesn't have like it doesn't need a whole lot of animation just six frames six frames and that'll be good enough for right now we can do we can focus on the rest later some other time it's not that big a deal aldo has so many more frames just because there's so many more parts Amber will eventually have those parts, but it's not as complicated, you know. You start with one thing at a time. So the one thing I'm starting with is the base. Walking, left foot forward. Uh, walking, right foot forward. Basically, the way how it works is you're going to be, your head is going to be roughly the same height, like whenever you're at, at uh, you know. So your head goes up, your head goes down, as you can see, in the middle of every step. But whether it's left or right, usually your head will be in the same position at the same timing. Like say, for example, you're at the, this is the highest point of one of your steps, okay? One foot at, one foot is pointing straight down flat, okay? You'll be, and then, you know, one foot is straight down flat. Now, on the other side also, one foot is straight down flat, okay? Your head's going to be on the same position, same height on both, roughly. And when your legs are the further spread apart, Provided you walk like, you know, fairly evenly and you don't like put a lot more force into one leg than the other, it should still be even. Okay. So that's also another way to give a bit more characteristics for people, you know, for different characters. So you can basically be like, oh, okay, this character walks a lot more, you know, a lot heavier on his left foot. So if they're walking sideways even, you can still show that by basically making him get a lot lower when his left foot is the focus. Sorry if I'm, sorry if I'm just... Uh, Sorry if I'm talking a bit too much, but animation just really excites me. You know, it's as a topic. I love it as a topic. It's incredibly tedious to do. You know, just painful. 
painful, really. I can still remember, like, how much work you need to put in just for, like, a few seconds of animation. Oh my god, it was pretty... Uh, you know, just don't worry about it too much. I'm, I'm sure I'll be fine. So yeah, I'm gonna move forward and I'm gonna start uh, working on this. So I'm just gonna comment on over this as I'm working, just so that I'm, you know, more or less for me, keeping track of my own notes. So left foot forward... Uh, so standing up, either or, looks fine, looks fine enough. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, one foot forward, uh, it's okay, it's okay. There's no issues, I kind of fixed that. Uh, we notice like she's got this kind of fancy thing going on where she's like almost holding up a cup. You know, she wants to be like a Miss Fancy Pants. I don't know why I said it like that, but I'm a rule with that. So Miss Fancy Pants, she wants to hold her hand out almost like she's holding a tumbler, you know, holding a glass. But she's classy like that. A lot of sway. A lot of emphasis on uh, the hips. One, two. Now, what is this part? Here, this is kind of, uh, this is when the legs kick out the most. This is before they actually, like, set their foot down. So, for example, I'll show, I'll explain with Aldo. So, Aldo is walking, okay? He's got his heel on the ground. Next, full foot on the ground, middle. And then he kicks out. Okay, now a lot of people don't just do like a kicking out, but Aldo specifically would do that. Okay, and then heel on the ground, and then the animation loops basically from its the other foot now. So this should be how this character, how Amber walks. So what I can do is I can just take the next frame, I can copy that over. Okay, just set up to set things up. Now I'm gonna start. I'm gonna just take the wand to the selection tool. I'm going to move her up a bit because she's going to be roughly the middle of the road, essentially. You know, this is not the lowest point of swing. It's not the lowest point of the step, but it's not the highest point either. So that's a good in-between going on here. Now you bring this foot forward, you know, because it was at the center. But again, it's going to be in between the center and the leftmost point. So This is pretty important that you do this. You gotta like make sure to line. You gotta like audience skins are super important because you can basically just be like, oh, I'm gonna draw things in the middle of the road. You don't have to do it completely in the middle of the road. Uh, you can take, you can like you know move things around just based on like, oh, there's more of a bounce here, there's less of a bounce here. Uh, I'm gonna start this way. I'm gonna see it, uh, and if there's any issue, then I will be like, you know, oh, I'm not gonna do that. So that's basically how it goes. Uh, so I'm going to take this leg and I'm going to kick it forward, but I'm also going to turn to bend the knee. So she's going to be, so this foot's going to be forced, so this foot's going to be forward, kicking forward just a bit, just a bit kicking forward, but the knee is also going to be bent because she's not like, She's not walking as fast as... She's not trying to do Aldo's thing. Aldo, um, as the author de exp described it to me, is kind of doing a Charlie Chaplin thing. You know, that's kind of his state of being. You know, his state of being is just to be like a, like a comedy character. I'd almost say like a Mr. Bean character, but I don't think... I think Mr. Bean has his shit intact more than Aldo does. And now let's just move this around. Let us see what this looks like. Immediately looks a bit look, looks a bit better, doesn't it? At least that one side, right? So you can do a lot better than that. So just and when it comes to a time like this, just look down at your references. How did he do it, right? So when the foot's off the ground, like right here, it doesn't have to be kicking forward. For Aldo, he just like went straight from all the way in the back to kicking forward. But for her, it could be like halfway up in between, just like that. So uh, let's try that, you know? It's like... Immediately looks a bit look, looks a bit better, doesn't it? At least that one side, right? So you can do a lot better than that. So just when it comes to a time like this, just look down at your references. How did he do it, right? So when the foot's off the ground, like right here, it doesn't have to be kicking forward. For Aldo, he just like went straight from all the way in the back to kicking forward. But for her, it could be like halfway up in between, just like that. So uh, let's try that, you know. So got her leg like this. Let's turn this around a little bit more. In fact, let's turn it around a little bit more. So here's the thing, like in Crit, the more you, uh, the more you uh, try rotating bits and pieces of it, the more and more bloody it gets, which is a bit troublesome, but 
basically it's pretty good especially now when you're in the rough stage it doesn't matter you know things can get things can get a bit blurry you can always just redraw that's what roughs are good for you know you could just redo a, a quite a big chunk of work without really having too much of an issue I do, I do really enjoy working with rough. So this, uh, you might notice that there's a very weird shape when I, you know, use the brush or whatnot. And that's because I have my own custom brush here in Krita. I've used Krita so much, I somehow made my own custom brush. And it's sort of perfect for me to use it for roughs in this program. Uh, ever since I switched to Clip Studio Paint, I have been a bit upset that I've not, you know, had this particular brush. Uh, but I'm... I've also not looked into getting it because I'm just trying to first learn, you know, the options available in Clip Studio Paint before I'm like, oh, I need, I just, I had this in Krita, so I just really want it back. I think, I think maybe this should be a little bit good. What, what, what does it look like here? Mm -hmm. Close, close, close. No, actually, I like it. I like it. Okay, hold up. So what I'm going to do now is because I like that one. Uh, left and right, the walking animations are pretty similar, you know. So you can just copy it. Just copy it, drag it over to the other side, and there you go. Uh, now what you got to do is you got to just get in here and just make sure you actually switch the legs. And the arms too, usually. Except uh, she's got her arms in a fairly, um, in a fairly static pose. So her arms are not going to change. You don't need to worry about too much. You don't need to worry about that too much. That's perfectly good. Oh, also, you might want to just bring over the other frame, even if you don't need it there, just so that you can get the onion skin. Because onion skin does not wrap around. Like, see, you see over here, this area here is darker than this area. That's because this area is my playback area. So that's why it just keeps looping. The animation will play until it hits this spot, and then it'll start again from the beginning. But onion skin doesn't acknowledge that it doesn't wrap around so you're gonna have to at least copy over a frame just temporarily and bring it over if you want to if you want to be able to see it just to make sure you're not screwing up like i usually do. also save please please make sure you save all the time you never know when the system's gonna crash you just you never know like even if your system doesn't crash right oh, oh because my system's not gonna crash it's gonna be fine i've got a powerful rig no 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 that doesn't matter your software could at any moment just be like oh I'm done, I'm done, I quit, I retire. And when it comes to something like that, that is so painful. You do not, you do not want to just, you don't want to have to redo all your work. I'm going to remove, remember, remove that extra frame you just copied over for reference. Because if it sticks around, it's just going to be a big, it's just going to be a pain for you. It's going to kill you inside, deep inside. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's turn off the let's turn off the onion ring, and let's take a look. Uh huh. Yeah, I think it looks pretty decent. What do you guys think? Uh huh. The legs, at least the legs. Look at that legs. Those legs are pretty smooth. I do like it. Mm hmm. Uh, but obviously there's some issue going on right here. Um. You saw that, like, here, yeah, look, uh, the shoulder, shoulder's fine. Oh, shoulder is not fine at all. I screwed up at that point, and I've not fixed that. It's fine. Uh, I can just fix it. Do you guys want, like, uh, this is just my second video, so I don't have an audience at all. But if you, any of you want, I could, like, you know, any work I do, I could just, like, post like i could just give a link in the video like oh yeah you can find it over here or something like that or uh, i don't know some kind of follow-up uh i don't actually know what the best way to do this is sorry so over here i'm going to clean this up and just do the exact same thing again this is the other side okay okay right right let's click play again uh looks okay looks okay looks okay uh now big issue is because how stable her she is, okay? We don't need her head bobbing so much. Or rather, if her head's going to be bobbing so much, you're going to need to fix something else to bob as much. So, that's what we're going to do. Let's round her shoulders a little bit more. Over here, I think that looks fine, okay? Hmm. 
Now let's just double check that. Yeah, I think the shoulders are going down, up and down enough, but the head is going way too far. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to go to this part of the head. You know, this this frame, this the frame where the head is at the lowest. And when you when you take someone to their lowest, remember to just move them up, move them up a bit. You know, give the head a little more distance. Let them bippity bop. <laughs> oh my God, I'm an absolute idiot. But but it kind of worked. I did. I do like what happened. So I'm going to just make a copy of this, right? So there, I just made a duplicate of her base. And now what I'm going to try to do is, let's add a little bit of a bounce, you know, bounce. bounce. Dun, 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 dun. Here she is. So she takes a step over here. So the next frame or two, I'm going to just mark that one. I just did a little bit of a tap. So it made a new empty frame. It made a new frame without changing anything. So it's basically a double. So now I'm going to just take this line a bit. Move it up. Okay. And then just go, just have a go at it. Just try reshaping it. Uh, you shouldn't just, you shouldn't do too much because it's gonna, it's not gonna look good. Uh, and actually let's, let's, let's go a little bit wild, you know, why not? So let's go. One, two, look at that. There are, there's more ways to you can you can just go one back, one step back and you can go in here and you can again just kind of just uh yeah, let's just go in here let's just look at the exact movements okay uh hi hi so this is this is post editing starlight here so the rest of the stuff is kind of slow really slow so i'm just going to kind of speed it all up and try explaining it to you like in a bit of a breakdown like post post haste post yeah post work so this is me just testing out the animation just to see oh how is it working or not and now i decided to add in the hat and the hair well hoodie hood so yeah uh there's basically just a whole lot of me just i first draw it in that's pretty simple enough then what i do is uh I just try and match it in every frame to the head. So, you know, if the head's going up, then the hat's supposed to match it. So the, hat's, the hat and the hat are moving with the head. So that's step one. Step two is a matter of like, oh, let's add a bit of a jiggle to the hat. Uh, well, pff, jiggle, wiggle, physics, physics. Let's so add physics to the hat, you know? When it goes up, you know, the head goes up, the hat just kind of goes, uh, continues. The tail of the hat continues for a few minutes, for a, you know, just a tiny bit longer. And then it comes down. And then the next step, uh, I got in touch with the author again, and he told me that he wants the hand to be higher up. You know, like, so I've decided to do it. So I've basically gone in, I've done this. I've also added a little bit of extra work going on. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it yet, or I think you can see it right here. Uh, a little bit of a bounce to the, be to the breast as well. Uh, not quite as, not quite so much, you know, just, just a little bit. And then, and then I decided to clean up Aldo as well. So here I go, here I'm cleaning him up. Uh, I'm just going to stop talking now and in a second or so, you, we're going to get to the end. And here we go. I think the end product came up pretty darn well. What do you think? Yep. So anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments below, or Twitter, anywhere you want to, anybody you want to reach me. And I hope you had some amount of enter enter entertainment when <laughs> going through this. Uh, bye.